Hello Commanders, Commander Placer here and welcome to today's live stream. Uh, I guess we've got something different today, haven't we? Um, I am bringing you a sneak peek look at uh, Warhammer 40,000 Chaos Gate Demon Hunters, uh, which honestly I'm actually pretty excited about. Um, I have had my hands on this for um, maybe a week and a half and I have been uh, <laughs> got about 20 hours in it so far so I've been really really enjoying it uh, I do have a review which is up on my YouTube channel uh, which uh, you're more than welcome to check out but um, I mean wait until after the stream I guess um, that'll be it there I guess so it's there um, we're gonna be jumping into what is essentially a brand new game uh, today gonna be kind of going for it and um, Looks like we might have to fiddle with some settings, actually, um, before we do. <clears throat> so one moment. But yeah, pumped and pumped. Um, I'm rather, rather excited by it all. Um, yeah, that helps. Yeah, that helps. Um, so yeah, we're going to be starting to say a brand new campaign. Um, starting from the very beginning um, with my squad, um, jumping into it, and um, hopefully I'll be naming some of the squad members after you guys watching. At least that's going to be the idea. Uh, we will get that um, going, and um, hopefully it'll be interesting. We have drops as well. That's a new thing for the channel, or a new thing today. So just by watching, you can earn in-game rewards, and this is a first, um, a first for my channel, um, is what I will say. So that's quite exciting. I think it's exciting. I'm gonna say it's exciting. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to fill with graphic settings, I think, because streaming and playing can be pretty intensive. But yes, we do have drops, which is exciting. Um, with the drops, you can earn some exclusive in-game war gear for your uh, for your Grey Knights. And if you don't know anything about Warhammer, um, I'm going to be chatting about it as we play and as we talk about it. Um, I will be giving a little bit interesting bits of information. That's going to be the plan, anyway. Um, all right, let's drop our graphics down a little bit. So hopefully we can get 60 frames on the stream. To be honest, you shouldn't notice too much of a um, too much of a difference um, for watching, at least with stream compression being a new thing. Um, right, new campaign. Let's get this underway. Uh, we're going to have the tutorial on just so you guys can have a look at it, see what you think, um, and kind of go from there. Um, certain bits of it are painfully graphically intensive, and it really shouldn't be. Um, bits of it aren't, but we will, um, I think what I'm going to do is just to make sure the uh, settings have stuck and I quickly restart it, restart the game and go from there to be on the safe side. Pre-release. I'm sure there'll be um, a something that comes out tomorrow, <laughs> a patch more likely, um, a launch patch and we'll be able to get ourselves into it and uh, should be all good but yeah if you've never played Warhammer 40,000 before and you've never um, I guess been interested in it before then uh, this should be interesting for you uh, graphics let's check to see if we've got Just need to make sure that we've got things set. I think if we drop that down to... Oh, it's got high and low. Joyous. Yeah, we'll go for that. Um, and... Right, let's get a new game underway. Um... I have no shame in the fact that I'm going to be starting a new a new go of it and be playing it on a lower difficulty setting because honestly frustration is the worst possible thing um, when it comes to 
a game on the stream, so hopefully we should be good. It is the 41st millennium. For more than a hundred centuries, the Emperor has sat immobile on the golden throne of Earth. Mankind wages a never-ending battle for survival against the demonic power of the Chaos Gods. But by one force is humanity shielded from true darkness. The Grey Knights. This secret chapter of Space Marines are the Imperium's surest defense against that which the Emperor foresaw would be its greatest threat. Humanity's blade against the demon. For in the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. Hype. Hype. So, yeah, this is set 38,000 years in the future. <laughs> Which is pretty nuts, so... Unidentified Astartes vessel. This is Captain Parani Everick of the warship Holiness of Ra. Geheris is lost. Repeat, Geheris is lost. All Imperial vessels are to withdraw at once. Astartes vessel, do you read me? Geheris is doomed. Please acknowledge this warning. Look, look at this badass. Look at him. He's an utter badass. In the Emperor's light. You cannot sail into this storm. We do what we must. Farewell, Captain. Tech Priest, report. Exoplanet wars are under maximal pressure. Commander, we cannot maintain this orbit for long. Dispatch the assault team at once. I will join them and put an end to this myself. Your will be done. So, hopefully the cinematics are just going to be the punishing bit. And the rest of it should be pretty, uh, hopefully less punishing. There's excessive graphic usage in there somewhere, so it needs optimization. Here I stand, one unbreakable shield against the darkness. Tonight the Cadium falls, Hector. Our quest is finally near its end. Yeah, the Baleful Edict is the name of the ship, which is unfortunately going to get pretty messed up, and we're going to be spending a lot of time repairing it and trying to fix it throughout the campaign. Yeah, all of the rendering is done like a real time with all of the um well from what I can tell it's done real time with the uh cutscenes. So yeah, tutorial I have played the tutorial what feels like about a million times. So uh <laughs> you'll have to excuse me if I rush Rush we reach the cathedral. So let's actually have a look at this guy because I've never actually stopped to look at him. Um, but yeah, this is the the kind of don't get attached to this guy. Super important. He is the leader of this uh, strike force, but he won't be around for long. And weaklings. Advancing into cover. So it's uh, you get a combination of action points and will points in this. So uh, action points is moving around, shooting, stuff like that. Um, also, you get will points which are used for your force powers, which are pretty handy. Really. Really? <laughs> uh, okay. Face the Emperor's judgment. Uh, people basically fall apart normally when you shoot them, which the tutorial is very specific about the way it works. Very, very specific. I will end that heresy.
And you're also going to shoot the dude. Justice. Uther, dispense of that heretic with your blade. Grant them no quarter. Yes, uh, the close combat is probably the best bet. You're out of cover, Uther. Trust in the ages. So some of the powers you start off with, this is one that's like everyone has, uh, which is called the Aegis Shield, which will give you extra armor, which absorbs being shot. Which is good. Gods be with me! So it means you don't lose any hit points. And obviously if you lose hit points, you will eventually die. Time stands against us. I will breach the cathedral. Uh, this is an important lesson in how Space Marines open doors. Very important. Demons, I will not be delayed by these weaklings. The answer is they don't. They kick them down. Every door. So one of the uh, cool things we have in Chaos Gate Demon Hunters is the fact that we are able to kick down or knock down and interact with the environment to cause damage. So we're going to hit this pillar and we're going to knock it down over onto these demons. Daemons. Daemons. I think they use the word daemons rather than demons. Um, But yeah, the rest of the game we really spent against a different type of demon, a different demonic force. Iolanthus, your brother is pinned. Advance and deliver retribution. Uh, also, this is the only guy that survives. This current guy is the only guy that survives the tutorial. Deploy your frag grenade, so that's fun. Oh, and grenades are possibly the best thing in this game. That I have encountered so far. Deliver the Emperor's judge for that reason. Advance and train your bolter on that doorway. Uh, Will Frontier, hello. Um, what? It, it's a. Uh, how you doing? So Overwatch is a really handy um, really handy um, but you won't be using it every turn like you do in something like XCOM which is important to note. Palamides it has been a long time and I just want to say I love this game. <laughs> like I'm actually really really enjoying um, I forgot how much I enjoyed the Warhammer 40,000 franchise. So, um, this has been well done to the guys from um, Complex Games. It's bad news. So, everything's going to go wrong for a bit. And we're just going to wander off, uh, which is something you wouldn't normally want to do in combat. You don't want to turn your back on your enemy, uh, but tutorial and must do. But again, we've got an awesome force power to use, so it's well worth it. Uh, now, as mentioned before, uh, do you have drops um, on the stream, which you should just be getting? The time should just be counting down and being added onto what you're what you're doing. Hopefully, um, if you're intending to get the game, you'll be able to get some exclusive in-game items. In-game items, um, especially starting today, and then there'll be a new set which will be available from tomorrow as well. That's bad news. 
Cannot lose another battle, brother Iolanthus. Okay. Uh, good stuff, Nix. Because I, I, I don't see if it's moving along or not. Because believe it or not, it doesn't count me watching my own stream. So. Uh, right, let's stun this guy. Now we get, hopefully, something very cool will happen now. We get to execute a downed enemy. And this is where some of the best animations I think I've seen in a Warhammer game come in. Just like, it's good. <laughs> hey Kuro, how you doing? This is 100%... No! No, this is not. This isn't heresy. This is, um, purification. This is, um, purging. Uh, well, Nix, if you're going to pick it up, um, you're going to be probably advised to pick it up today because there's some pre-order bonuses also. And today's the last day to, to get them. So this is your healer class, which is pretty handy to have. Take up defensive positions, Elmedes. The enemy reinforcements will I mean, soon. like I said, these guys are toast, so let's not worry too much about them. Your resolve is commendable, Join Palamedes. Yeah, defense. we're going to be doing a full, full playthrough um, of this on stream. I will not be playing this set, this game off of stream at all. With me. There's a breach in the wall uh, we will be streaming the absolute snot out of it. I will breach the inner sanctum. Because things are about to get crazy. And this is just a tutorial. This breath, for it is your last. <laughs> it does look like heresy, you're right, Now, the real heresy is that when I used to play 40k as a kid, to my side, I had. Uh, Chaos as, I guess, my alt army. Corn. I, will show you I was full on Corn 8. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah. So this, this feels like proper nostalgic. Good. This isn't good. Brothers, I will not fail you. He's toast. This guy's also toast. Our brothers have bought us precious time, Iolanthus. Flank that demon and fire at will. So yeah, waypointing is this is um something that really does I think separate uh, Chaos Gate from other strategy games is the fact that if I were to, in other other games, just click to move, I'd run through the fire and set myself on fire, but this way I can waypoint, so you don't have to. 
so you can go around the fire and the flames. Profane this sacred place with your master's fire. This ends now. Ah. Running through the fire is never a good idea. And we did it anyway. Oh no. Can we? No, we can't. Pathetic mortal! Weakling spawn of a false god! This guy's getting done in. I am the light that banishes darkness. Your prayers mean nothing! I am the hammer! You have beaten me for now, little knight! But the war I fight is eternal! Yeah, it doesn't feel like we beat him at all, does it? Good. Analysis. Work signatures fading. Then the blood ritual has ended. Where is that report? Report. Where is the commander? He died in Champion's death. Blade on blade against the bow's blasphemy. Sad. It's really sad. It's victory, but it doesn't feel like victory. See, it says the commander has fallen, but all is not lost. And I don't know if this guy turns up again. Uh, later on in the game because it, it sounds like he might do um, but yeah um, Nyx if you're loving the voice work Andy Serkis of Gollum fame is uh, one of the characters in it plays Grandmaster Varden Kai Now, I, what I actually love is the uh, the graphic style of 40k has always been really interesting to me because it's everything so kind of artic. When you talk about the architecture, it's really gothic and overly complicated. A victory at the cost of the commander's life. Alive, he was ever a faithful servant to the emperor. A true hero. In death, at least his duty has finally ended. Assertion. This ship remains in crisis. The baleful edict is seriously damaged. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you for the bits. Ah, yes. That is why I have invited our guest. I'm the guest. You have appointed him to take the commander's place? No one else suitable survived the campaign. Um, there are Nuke, yeah. My apologies. I can switch them on in a minute if you like. The priests of Mars do not understand our nightly oaths. <laughs> our men and stores are severely diminished. Your task is to lead us for the voyage home. 
It is a simple duty, and once we return to Titan, I will put the future of your command to the chapter's Grand Masters. In the meantime, I will provide what advice I can. So basically, we're just going to chill out now. I also support you with counsel and service, but remember, the Baleful Edict is my chief concern. Be careful with this ship. We sail for Titan on your word, Commander. Strike Force Xyphos at your commander. Right. Could you... So, first of all, I'll get those uh, subtitles on for you. Um, General Cinemaster subtitles on. There we go. So, hopefully, that means you should be able to um, join me in the strategium. Keep up. Um, hey, Chris, how you doing? Uh, so, this is our ship, and it looks like a flying cathedral of doom, and I love it. I absolutely love it. I love the sound of this game as well. One of our battle brothers has proved himself worthy. Let us honour his deeds. Um, right, so, actually, Nuke, as you donated some bits, um, I'm actually going to... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to name one of the guys after you. Um, so... Not this guy. This guy's been me. Brother Ulrich is a talented justicer. Please decide where he should focus his training to support you in the field. So yeah, I'm going to be. Oh, sorry, I'm going to be naming people as we go. And yeah, Nuke, it is. It's. It's a lot more vibrant, than um, than than Space Hulk. I wish Space Hulk had been good. With every promotion, your knights gain two ability points, which you can use to expand their capabilities. Uh, so, Terminator Armor and Hammer Hand. Uh, yeah, we can only know, you can only change people's first name, um, not the last name, because they are they are fixed. Confirming this promotion because they're voice acted, so they say there are names when you click on them. Excellent. When you are finished, please join me at the star map. Alright, tutorial's gonna kinda of force us along a little bit here. We had best set a course for Titan and debrief the Grand Master. So we're returning back to Sol, which is uh, you know, to begin our Earth. return to Titan. But this is gonna be like some of the most it's stuff that you don't normally get to see. But yeah, some of them you can you can rename the first names, but they won't say them. Yeah, once the tutorial section is over, we can kind of take control a bit more and get into it. But there's bits of storyline that I thought would be worth getting involved in. Baleful Edict, in the name of the God Emperor. Dominus, who is this interloper? Current scrapings indicate an inquisitorial transmission. Baleful Edict, prepare for my arrival. Duty calls, Commander. We should open a Vox link. Inquisitorial vessel, permission granted to come aboard. Hey, Tragic, how you doing? I know, Chris, this is mainly Nurgle we're going to be fighting against. Starts off with the corn, and then switches over into Nurgle. But I'm, I'm, I tell you what though, having played as much of this as I have, I am well open to DLC with other Chaos Gods. Like, totally open to it. Unfortunately, I didn't get a promo pack, Tragic. <laughs> um, I must admit, I, I've mentioned this to my wife, actually, that I'm not a huge fan of 
her animations. Um, we are bound for Titan. The edict cries out for repair. The tech priest speaks the truth, Inquisitor. Our last crusade bled us dry. I'm not blind, Knight. But heresy does not operate at our convenience. My She's a little bit anime proportioned. This very system. Not such a taxing journey, I'd expect. And what is it that you hope to find there? This. Beneath rotting skies, the air thickens with a world's final breath. Seeds planted in flesh and bone, watered with blood and tears. A warrior alone in the garden of a grinning god. These are scraps of astropathic whimsy. There's more. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, Nick, it's been a while since I've um, great played on the etheric wind. The bloom proliferating. First, then Korama. Then world after world, its roots spread from an ancient veil. Inquisitor, hear me, hear me, hear me! Who tends the garden? The Astropath sacrificed himself to send that message. Now you understand why we must investigate. Commander. We cannot risk further damage to this vessel. It is the chapter well, we will ship, be. Dominus. The Inquisitor has every right to request our support. It is not a request. <laughs> Commander, with your leave, we will set our course for this Koromar Prime. Yes. Good. That will do for now. <laughs> um, so, Nick, the difference is the Castellan Champion version gives you a... Um, Unlockable character, um, which is the Castellan champion, who comes with like a badass demon weapon. Um, it's just kind of like a a badass new character. Plus, you get the um, I think you get soundtrack in there as well. Pre-purchase comes with a couple of unlockables, but I think if you get the Castellan and you're pre-purchasing, you still get the pre-purchase stuff. If we do not investigate this threat, the consequences will be dire. This planet exhibits signs of uh, some unknown plague, but its hold over the populace is not firmly established. We should seize the opportunity to purge it from the system completely. The Bloom Strain carries a theme of plague and disease. Warp surges, this is that which is a really sick mechanic which we'll be looking at. Um, Introduce foul afflictions to hinder our knights on the battlefield, while our foes will obtain mutations to help them resist our powers. Unknown minions of chaos. Our prognosticars, yes, there's going to be lots of words that I'm going to be saying during this stream that are going to sound really weird. Um, have all good that we will face minions of chaos on the planet's surface. If we attune a prognosticar to the system, they'll be able to tell us more. Why are we doing that? Commander. It is our duty to support this Inquisitor, but we should complete this task as swiftly as we can. The Grand Masters on Titan are waiting for our report. Uh, so we get rewards, you can see. Um, we get 15 servitors which are used to upgrade the ship, and a corruption reduction power, and I don't even know it. Um, well, we will have that. If there was corruption, we would get a reward to reduce corruption. Now, that's a later on thing. Report. Signals from quarantine beacons detected in the upper atmosphere, but the surface itself is silent. Plague, Commander. Send your squad to the surface. I mean, that's the plan. Knights of Titan, you are the instrument of the Emperor's will. Make planet fall and discover if the Inquisitor's fears are founded. So I have a particular setup in my squad. Your knight's armament and ensure they are best um, to the battle at hand. A quick note, this one loadout, it's pushing me towards picking certain things. And it's a fair point. Like the Force Halberd does come with some advantages. Um, 
but more importantly, we're changing its armor type because this bad boy can wear Terminator armor, and Terminator armor is where it's at. Like, always where it's at. Um, now, what we've said, uh, can we change that yet? No, we can't. So these are all pretty much fixed, but we're going to be changing. Um, like I say, in the character, you can go and you can change what they look like. So, Ulrich is changing his name. He is becoming... I have to spell my own name. Plater. I am now in charge. Uh, Nuke. Oh, the Grey Knights. Yeah, I know. Blaster. Um, so, Nuke, I give you the opportunity to pick Apothecary, Purgator, or Interceptor. So, would you rather be a healer? Would you rather be... Actually, I know what you're like. Um, an Interceptor is like the, the zip-around melee combat dude. I feel like that's you. You want to be the heavy weapons guy? I'm not going to be using him at all. I just want you to know, I'm not going to be using the heavy weapons guy. But that's the Purgator. But I am going to be using... Santor. The ninja dude. So... There you go, Nuke, you are in. And we're going to go in and have a little bit of a, a chop around. You're, pre you're pretty pale, Nuke, so we're going to make you pale. Um, the tech... there isn't a tech... well... Tech... Pr what do you mean tech marine? There, aren't, there isn't one. But there will be later on down the line, there'll be chaplains and other things. Right, we're going to give you a. Alex, just like Nick. And we're also going to, um, going to jazz you up a bit, and if you die, I'm really sorry. That looks about right. Uh, cryptography, hey, how you doing? Um, I don't, I don't get a kickback. So, there is that. But, the more people watch, the better for me, obviously. But no, this is not Primar Primaris. Primaris. Um, Yeah, I think... Mm, yeah, we'll, we'll have them slightly different. Unavailable loincloths, though. No, I don't have an... I don't have a... Um, an affiliate link for this, no. Doom, yeah, that's about right. There we go. Here. Here! Sample. Unleash me. Yes, Commander. At your service. Yeah, that sounds like that sounds about right. Okay. Uh, we are also going to change their melee weapon. Um, it's released tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, I believe, ish. There we go, you are now the ninja. I'm also going to make your oh, sort of knight. There we go. So, um, yeah, we've got, um, like I said, anyone who's watching now, you are 
accruing um, drops, which is pretty cool. So, uh, exclusive items in game should be earning towards a melee weapon. Uh, yes, Chris, only four, so you've got to be picky. Everyone's got grenades, he's got the Narcissium. Whoa, 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 what's this guy doing there? There we go. Right, off we go. Yes, yeah, so you've only got a squad of four, and there is no way to upgrade that. It is always four, from what I can tell. Yeah, Nick, there is no... There is a... Uh, no one has ever fallen. No Grey Knight has ever fallen to chaos. Um, Remage. Or Remage. Remage? Remage. Remage. Um, how you doing? Um, I'm doing okay as can be. Um, that that's the answer to that. Commander, have your men look for signs of this plague. Be vigilant, brothers. Forward, brothers. Ready. Uh, and it does, it does have a tabletop feeling to it. Um, I can confirm that, Chris. But yeah, all Grey Knights, only Grey Knights. Um, and I don't know if you need you need the typical group layout. Um, you've got these, these two guys here, when upgraded, are the most insane damage dealers. Um, they can teleport and teleport strike, and it's brutal. Honestly, it's brutal the stuff they do. Taking position. But we're just going to play aggressively, run straight in, because you get awarded, Our well, rewarded for aggression. Um, definitely more similar to XCOM. So this is one of our enemies, a Nurgle heavy stubber. To me, that'd be an auto, uh, an auto gun, an auto cannon. Back in my day, oh, have I pressed the wrong key? Anyway, now here's the fun bit. Um, but yeah, there's there are wounds. You get hit points, and then you get essentially wounds. I guess you'd say, like from a 40k perspective. Um, there's so much damage you can take before you're downed, and then you can be revived. But we are going to start off with... Firing on target. Nuke taking out a pair of cultists. Moving now. Can't see anyone else at the moment, but we can throw down some overwatch. But yeah, this is very much more like XCOM. The difference being is that if you can see someone, you can shoot them. Now, this is like one of these things where I'm like, you don't miss. You like, you don't miss. Um. Like with your guns. We've trained for hundreds of years for this. This guy is going to lose his arm, or we stun him. I think we're going to stun him. And this is still technically only my first turn. Yeah, Space Marines don't miss. Why would they? Ah. Uh, Time to teleport. Which is a great way of covering a lot of distance. Hmm. 
No running away from combat. Oh, Chris, I can't believe you're going to bring up the old who's better, Master Chief or a Space Marine. Because, I mean, there is a very clear answer. What is your will? What is your will? Hmm. Now. Here's the thing. I want to spread the experience out. Because the last thing you want to do is end up with Yeah, we can't actually see him. Moving now. Yeah, we'll spread the experience out so we don't end up with people that are <laughs> really imbalanced. And we're also not... Actually, no, we're not going to worry about any of this. Oh. Enemies destroyed. Uh, you know what? I've actually not watched any of the Taking the series. Foes are near. Be wary, my brothers. Agreed, Nick. Agreed. It is totally daft. So yeah, everyone's armed with a melee weapon and a close combat weapon. Inquisitor, we have seen the dead walk in this way before. As have I. Hoxwalkers are evidence of warp corruption. This is no natural plague. Quite a lot. He takes his helmet off quite a lot. Hunter, that's what I understand. And I'm just like, no, no, no. Examine this corpse and <laughs> I need to examine this corpse. Which bit? Which bit? Do not obstruct me, tech priest. I will follow proper protocols. But yeah, that's the thing about Master Chief is that he's supposed to not take his helmet off ever. But yeah, grenades are exquisite. Uh, no nuke, because the thing about teleportation is it relies on war gear rather than abilities. At least in humans. For the golden throne. It's just bits everywhere. Advancing. Hmm. So that thing at the top, at the top, in the middle, where it says Bloom, that is, um, actually we will share out the experience as best as possible. Um, Chris, wrong. Wrong. Totally wrong. Totally wrong. Take that back. You're wrong. Be swift about it. If this plague has already spread uh, but, the planet, then we will have far more ground. I can't remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, the bloom. The bloom. The and the warp the um the warp surge. So as you go through the turns, the warp surge meter goes up. And as that goes up, something is gonna happen. Um and it'll be a buff typically for your enemies and a debuff for you. Uh, and it can be really really horrible. Like they can bring enemies back to life. And that's messy. But no, Grey Knights don't only use melee. They're well known for using side cannons and storm bolters. Well known. I I know my 40k lore, especially considering the amount of time I've spent on um, 40k wikia for the last couple of weeks. Right, did anyone get any any level up for anyone? No. That's a shame. 
but technically no one's wounded either. Which is a surprise. I mean, everyone should be wounded. Um... No, their signature isn't that. Yeah, their signature is the, is the Nemesis Force weapons. Um, like, you know, your halberd, your falchions, your great swords. Uh, but they are also known for being very powerful psychers. That's kind of more what they're known for. Each one being more powerful than a typical chapter librarian. Mission objectives achieved, Commander. Our guest wishes to speak with you in the Libris. The Libris. Oh my god, I called it the Libris throughout my whole review. <laughs> so this, oh no, I can't believe I did that. But yeah, that the old school Nemesis Force weapons used to have the Storm Bolters built in to the weapons. The Force Halberd used to have the Storm Bolter attached to it. I must commend you on this impressive archive of demonic lore, Commander. It rivals some I've seen in Inquisitorial fortresses. I will require it as a base of operations for my studies. I respect your authority in matters of combat, but I must remain until I can ascertain some solution to this plague. I am, of course, open to recommendations on which lines of study you feel would best serve the mission. I am... Eric Nolan is saying the drops are still bugged for you, even though all other drops function. I have no I idea they hold a key to understanding this what can be done about that. I am sorry to say. All I can do is make sure that I have the correct um yeah all I can do is make sure I've got the correct um game up which I have it's all set to I don't think she needs to be hated I will conduct a necropsy of the recovered corpse all right so this is the research uh, we're gonna go in and do some research this is like the storyline that th this kind of all down this piece here is storyline related. So this will push the story forward, whilst this side will push abilities, as will this side here. So we have to kind of do that bit. I toil with a critical lack of resources. I request you attend me in the manufacturum. So yeah, you've got the two very polar opposites of the research side of things. You've got the Manufactorium, which is your real kind of like mechanical stuff. The, the Adapters Mechanical stuff. And then you've got the Inquisitorial side, which is in the Libris. No one likes the Inquisition, Chris, you've got to remember that. And this is actually a Tech Priest. Who is also a female character? Not that you could tell. The manufacturum to operational use, but the edict remains severely damaged. Without access to a proper dockyard, restoration will be slow and limited by the resources we can requisition from Titan or nearby inquisitorial enclaves. As of this moment, reviving the edict's core power output takes absolute primacy. Well, I guess that's going to point us into a certain direction, isn't it? I must improve the edict's power. So, this is going to cost us eight servitors, which disappear from this can up here, and six days worth of time. A hey, glass, how you doing? Now, we can only research one thing at a time, no matter how many servitors we have, and if you try and research something else when you're already researching something, it will cancel, and you won't get the servitors back. And think about that for a minute. Servitors are consumed. Servitors are people. Kind of people. I must now interface with the logic engines. Commander, I have adjusted the star map to display our current sector. However, our intelligence here is sparse. Uh, Glass, we are playing uh, Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. Or one of thousand Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. <sighs> the name. Um, they're really 
They're cyborgs. Cyborg slave people. I suggest we bide our time until... Right, we are just going to advance time until the reactors are back and then we'll start to be able to move around. Dominus has restored the star map to its full function. We are receiving a of scanning data and astropathic scrapings from across the sector. This plague appears to have already spread its tendrils far and wide. We are faced with reports of two infected systems. We should monitor this infestation carefully and judge where best to direct our forces while the Inquisitor pursues her answers. He's got a point. Failure will cost many souls. He's got a good point. Right, let's start a new project. Now, this will... Picking what to go for is, is, is an interest. This is... um where it gets a bit tricky. So you want to fix the stuff that's broken. And prognostic cars are needed. Very much needed. Because they will help um, let us know more about what's going on. It'll also improve our transport speed and reduce the amount of bloom. Which is good. We want that. But also, an augmentation chamber means that we'll produce servitors on our own. Which is, again, really good. So we won't have to rely just on picking them up from mission rewards. But, the benefits of prognosticars are huge. So I think we're going to go for that. Okay, and the um, tech priest's name, by the way, is Lunetti. That's how it's pronounced according to... Um, <coughs> cough, Google Translate. Consider this requirement fulfilled. Okay, we must activate quarantine protocols with a pox walker specimen. I will not have the edict put at risk, even for an inquisitor. Your request is redundant, Commander. I had the protocols initiated the moment it came onto my ship. Ah. This is no ordinary career option. The ship will remain sterile. Good. Uh, will it hold up until we are done in this sector? The Baleful Edict has never let any of the Brotherhoods that have travelled in her down. Still, the Inquisitor's demands are exacting, yeah. Yes, we are operating on her time scale now. That is the way of the Inquisition. Uh, they are often illogical, driven by the vulgarities of flesh. Instant results required, even when a dispassionate analysis would prove beneficial. The dangers of minds unenhanced by the Omnisire. Affirmative. How long did you know Commander Agravain? We have been the primary vessel for the Commander for the past 22 years. Hmm. Uh, he had the respect to the Battle Brothers and the crew. He was a leader in the Grey Knights, so he was revered. However, my own analysis of his mission success rate at a mere 99.7%. He spent many hours in repentant contemplation over the 0.3% inadequacy whenever I reminded him of it. God, classic. Just can't leave it alone, can you? He did not suffer fools, or those that dared countenance his authority. So, quick probability. Uh, suggests that there's a 73.6% chance that he would that had Agravain still been in command, he would have been in confrontation with Inquisitor Fakir. So it seems like he had influence your defiance toward an Inquisitor is curious. Defiance suggests an emotional need to obstruct or obfuscate. I merely state the truth. The Baleful Edict is in need of respite and our losses against the Cadium. Obviously, <clears throat> we serve the Emperor and must go where he requires. Indeed, I serve the Omnissiah. It is by his mechanical will we ply the stars. The Emperor and the Omnissiah, 
They are one and the same, yes? The Ecclesiarchy's Imperial Creed carries only a muted echo of the Machine God's true will. Now, right. For 40k buffs. I didn't know. I didn't know that they were the same. I didn't know that Omnissiah was the same as the Emperor. Like, it was hinted at. But they've always talked about the Machine God and the Machine Spirits. But they've never openly said they're the same. Until now. Where it's like, yeah, yeah, it's like, it's like the Holy Trinity. It's like, oh. Alright, oh, right, okay. But there you go. Waiting for new input. The interaction is over. Uh, let's talk to Vakir. We both have work to do. What do you need? How is your this specimen? This appears to be some kind of host. An object is nestled within. It is different from what I've seen with these puppets in the past. This is undoubtedly one of the work of the Plague God's minions, but its vector is unusual. I'll let you know when I have completed my findings. If we must. Um, I have not worked directly with an Inquisitor before. The Grey Knights will be needed in this task, and it is your duty to marshal them. Why did you come and do this ship? I've previously been hunting heretics siphoning power directly from the Hadex anomaly, not far from your previous campaign. Once I directed my astropath to recover the stolen energy, she had the vision I shared when you arrived. Mmm. Her message is ominous. ominous. Divining the visions of astropaths is an art in itself. Um. Hang on, isn't it Warhammer 50k now? I don't think it is, Chris. I, th I think we're like 40. I know we've moved forward a bit in the storyline. It's like 42nd? I think it's only 42nd millennium rather than 41st. But I also know that Games Workshop are releasing the Horus Heresy um, timeline. Like, or well, the game set in Horus Heresy. So they can sell yet more of the plastic crack to people. If we must. Yes, you've taken enough of my time. Oh, she is rude and I don't like her. I really don't. I'm not. We're not a fan of her. So there's something interesting with Ektar. Um, I say one, his head seems very large. Um, which I find interesting. But anyway, um, the real question is why does he not? Why does he not lead us? He's clearly superior to me. In age. And in an imperfection means I must focus my efforts in a more indirect way, which means there's something wrong with him. If he gets turned by chaos at any point, I'm gonna lose it. I wanna make that really freaking clear. I ain't gonna lose my shiz. It's not okay. A matter between myself and the Emperor. As ordered by Grand Master Voltus, my penance is to serve on the Edict, but not to leave it. Staying above the battlefields, I crave to fight on. So there's obviously something, there's a flaw with him. Seems dodgy. I hope I can be of some use. At least before they have me interned into a dreadnought sarcophagus. Well. He had a fitting end. Like so many of our brethren, he kept his secrets well, but I know he despised the servants of Corn most of all. Why the blood god? It is not my place to say. But there was a stillness around the old commander, a seething hatred that I didn't see in him against any of the other enemies we faced. Of course, Corn, being created by rage, would in turn be fed by Agravain's hatred. But that is the nature and irony of chaos. Cryptography. I don't know. I don't think it does it's cowardice. He seems to be. He wants to get involved. He said so. And a coward wouldn't last long in. As a grey knight. And he's obviously an old guy. Whatever best helps you, Commander. She already makes demands on a ship badly in need of restitution. So are we on a bound? Must respect the authority of the Inquisition when the situation demands it. 
Yeah, you can't... You can't mess with the Inquisition. They are like... They just go, well, you're a heretic! And they will take you away, and you basically you're going to be turned into a, a mindless servitor. So, you, you kind of got to comply. I note you invoked us as the Chamber Militant. A term that has fallen out of fashion. Uh, yet, it is an ancient law that each Inquisitorial Aldo has a dedicated military arm to be used uh, to use when they require. We, in theory, can be called upon by the Ordo Malleus, which is Order of the Hammer. Uh, to which she belongs. If the title is somewhat antiquated, why well, use it? It's a strategic decision. Right. Right, right, right. Ancient customs are invoked by, um, that the Inquisitor should now abide by, such as giving us tactical command in the field. See, it is not only Inquisitors who can play these diplomatic games. Mmm. It's not very helpful, actually. Right, to the star map. Ready ourselves for the trials to come. Awaiting your orders. We're just going to advance time and wait for our next mission. Because that's what we need to do. Uh, we're going to get the servitor production on going, I think. Then we'll do plasma reactor, and that opens up a bunch of stuff. Uh, happy shrapnel. Um, space Marines don't worry about narrow doorways. They make them wider. We have restored functionality to the Augurium, and should review our Prognostica choir. When Prognosticas are attuned to a system, they will extend the mission timer in all adjacent systems. Okay, so logically you want to be able to attune to as many places at the same time as possible, don't you? In that six systems there, that's four. Uh, that's five. That's also only four. That's three. I think we'll go for the six. Seems to make sense to me. Commander, our prognosticers have detected this bloom in three separate systems. We should examine one of them. That one's really far away. This one's nice and close. I have identified this planet as a mission location to combat the Bloom. Let us examine further. Yeah, but what if I want to do this one instead? From here, you can see some details for this mission, including the resources that Titan's Armory will make available to us if we are successful. So, this one, plus 20 servitors, minus one corruption. And there's a bunch of enemies. Unknown minions, but we don't know what. But what if we went to this one first? Alright, okay. I don't think the math works out that we can do both. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to go away doing Because that would be the ideal case, is that we'd be able to go to one and then go to the next. We should probably go to the one that has the blue. It makes sense. Hopefully once we get warp speed picked up, which is an upgrade that we'll have to research. We'll take care of things. Okay, I'm going to break some of my own rules, which is the bringing the same people all the time. And I'm going to bring the same people all the time. Um... Now, I went for the one on the left. Hang on. Why not the one on the left instead of the right? Well, he told me this one, so I'm going to this one. That's basically it. I just picked one. Uh, 
That's the trick, boss. This will be fine. The psychic disturbances here echo those I encountered on Coromar. The hive cities are abandoned, but there is life below. Brothers, seek out any corruption and purge it. See, now what gets me is that if a, a hive city was emptied out, hive cities have millions and millions of people. Um, well, Nick, I think we're the only ones around. And because we're Grey Knights, it happens to make a lot of sense for it to be us. Because it's an inquisitorial matter. We need to get you some upgrades in this, Nick. Because as things stand, you're not good enough. I want you to better teleport. We need to get that happening. Ah, the horror! They will not see me here. Arms at the ready. Right. So we're not in range of anyone. Let's see if we can get this to fall on people. We can. You have been judged. It's good. And we use Cybolt. So this is like a an extra ability. Uh, this is one of our will abilities, which will uh, add some extra damage. But this is uses up one of our will points down at the bottom, um, and increase the surge meter up at the top as well. But will outright kill someone? Glory to Zyphos! This will be fun. Go on. Ah, I thought there might be a magic spot where we can... Can I get everyone? But if we've never, there wasn't. But yeah, someone has to be the protagonist. It's the rules. I love it. Set people on fire. No, don't give up now. Right. In an instant. Teleportation. Thing is, like, um, I don't think Nurgle's well known for having people that are proper crazy like that. But like, I mean, they've got tentacles. They've got tentacles popping out of their popping out of their arms. So.
Alright, gonna do some overwatch so we can get everyone else to catch up because you build momentum. The, the more a character kills, the kind of the further ahead they can end up moving forward from the rest of the group. And you do not want to overstretch. Affirmative. I'm feeling nice, so we're going to heal Nick. My wrath is restored, brother. I am with you. Advancing. Now. When you spot people, you get like a bunch of action points back because it kind of gives them a free turn. So we're gonna hopefully. I was hoping that we'd be able to use that to our advantage. As so the bad guys is right there. That's where they are. Bunch up. Permission to engage, Commander. I was really hoping they'd bunch up, because that would have been super useful. Uh, right, so the next one we can take out is two. Moving now. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that going up any higher. But hopefully, it won't. It's kind of like, get everyone else up front. So we can share out these. I try really hard to make sure everyone levels up nicely. Otherwise you end up with one person so much better than everyone else. That they do end up being... A million times better, and you end up using them all the time because they're better. destroyed, Commander. Advancing. But yeah, there's no hit percentages. I don't know if you guys have spotted that already. Um, when you shoot, you hit. And they fall apart. Affirmative. This is rude. This is very rude. And here's a warp surge. It is a warp surge, Inquisitor. Poxus. And yet your brothers have clearly restrained their powers. Something foul is at work below. Yeah, Nick, that's fair. That is fair, actually. Advancing. So we don't want to get plagued. Being plagued is bad. But also at the same time I really wanted to make sure everyone was healed. At your service. Actually, you know what? This guy's going off the map. 
like in a full on latest bro mercy in death that's that Let's problem solved that. actually there's if i remember correctly there's a thing we wanted to pick up on the map which i've missed I've played these opening levels way too much. Oh yeah, Nick, it's, it's a solid game decision. Solid game decision. All enemies have been cleansed. Good work, Commander. Make, makes sense. Like, it makes genuine sense. Victory! So we gain 20 services from that, which is useful. Unfortunately, Nick, you've been injured. But you do get to level up. And I feel like teleporty stuff would be the right direction to go in. Because then we get teleport strike. Which is very nice. I, I'm I'm all about the teleport strike. Okay. This guy needs to do some more killing. The apothecary needs to do more killing. That's for sure. Okay, so star map. Um, we can't make it there, but we can make it back to the center of the map. So I think that's what we're going to head back to, towards the center of the map, which would make more sense for when the next thing occurs, we should be in a better place. Although, thanks, lady. Right. Let's upgrade the warp drive, shall we? So, plasma reactor, get that upgraded. And then the warp drive will be next. And once we've done that, we can move, what, 20% faster? Yeah. Although stuff can happen during warp travel. Which is bad. It's never good stuff. Nothing good happens. This Poxwalker was one of the Imperial faithful, afflicted with a strain of mutagenic virus. There is no doubt we are dealing with the work of the plague god Nurgle. This must be the bloom whispered of in those astropathic fragments. Within the carcass, I found a germ of some ancient power corrupted with a foul psychic resonance. This seed is used to spread the virus. Of that, I am certain. But it arrived to me damaged, and there is little else I can learn from it. In order to study how we might fight this plague, I must acquire one of these seeds completely intact. I can instruct your brothers on how to extract these specimens properly. <laughs> Please ensure they pay attention. The Emperor loves so rude. Let's not disappoint him. So rude. Grandmaster this Report. Is Inquisitor Cartha Vakir of the Ordo Malleus. I am alumnus of Evixia Danica. Access code 
Clarion, Magenta, 11 17 21. I require immediate response from Titan. This is Grandmaster Vardan Kai responding, Inquisitor. This act borders on heresy. The screams of the Astropods you burned already reverberate through the warp. It is fortunate for you that I am prosecuting a campaign in the nearby Chimera system. I suggest you explain yourself and quickly. Grandmaster, I have commandeered the Baleful Edict. We face- You have seized a Grey Knight Strike Cruiser. As is my right. I have foreseen dire omens for this sector. Already Nurgle's Poxwalkers roam free. Oh, indeed. I'm surprised an agent of your pedigree is not equipped to deal with such lesser threats of chaos. <laughs> Agravain, perhaps you can clear up this nonsense for That you. awkward I moment. He fell in battle during our last campaign against the Cadian cult. We had been returning to Titan for repairs when this Inquisitor intervened. Ah, Brother Ektar, that is sorry news. I trust then that you have appointed one of our brothers to act in his stead. Well, speak up then, Commander. <laughs> Okay, so this is something that happens regularly throughout the game, is you've got a chance to side with different factions, or different or different people. Uh, so we can agree the Inquisitor, say we return to Titan, which agrees with Luenti, um, Lu Lunetti, um, or Vakir is the agree the Inquisitor. So we're going to do neither, and we're going to discuss the Bloom Seed. Intriguing. However, the galaxy is full of unsolved mysteries. I am confident these poxwalkers are the symptom of a much greater cancer. I only need a little time to conduct further research. Very well. I am not in the habit of second-guessing those under my command. That is, until given a good reason. I will leave the Baleful Edict in your care. You have my thanks, Grandmaster. But there is yet another reason I desire to speak with you. As steward of the <laughs> Armory of Titan, I had hoped you could release further assistance. Don't thank me yet. I will give you 60 Tertaean solar days to prove this threat warrants the deployment of an entire strike force. Battleworn as it is, Strike Force Xyphos could be put to good use in several campaigns across the galaxy. Any yeah. further requisition from my arsenal will have to be earned. But I... So rude. No one likes Inquisition. Master's report. You can the resource slot gives you access to the new night reinforcements, servitors, grimoires, and other resources now, at the end of a mission. The time comes for us to choose which upgrades we get after each mission. Um You can only unlock or upgrade each slot once per report. Now I don't want more knights. I've got enough more and better equipment currently and resources. But better melee weapons, yeah, and also I think better armor. So we will always receive a melee weapon and some armor at the end of each mission. I'm not so bothered about having more knights every mission because they kind of get in the way. At least until I upgrade the the barracks. I won't get a chance to undo any of that for a while. Uh, let's. So we need seeds, but we don't have any seeds, so we can't progress that further. Because that's the seeds there that we need, and that's our seed count that we actually have or don't have. What we can do is improve prognosticars or we can unlock stratagems. I think we'll do that. I think we'll give that a go. Hmm. Um so cryptography, um I do have the full version. Um it is it is the pre release still because I'm sure there'll be a patch tomorrow um, for actual full release. We both have work to do. What do you need? But it is the full version of the game. But we're getting the tutorial kind of at the moment. The tutorial stuff's still happening, which will soon stop. 
because we'll learn enough. It is not so simple. The disease, disease proliferates quickly, too quickly for these seeds to infect each new case through direct physical contact. My current theory is that the seeds emit some kind of psychic field to help catalyze the spread. I need the seeds intact for further study. Your brothers were overzealous. Can one be overzealous in destroying chaos? If I wanted brute force, I would have sought out the iron hands. Ooh, sick burn. If we must. The Grey Knights and Inquisition have worked together since the earliest days of our orders. Obviously, we are not all demon hunters. Are we not all demon hunters? The Grey Knights and Inquisition have worked together since the earliest days of our order. Yours serves as the hammer was mine the arm, and the will to wield it. This is knowledge you must already possess, Commander. Are you testing me? So, are we equals in this endeavour, then? We each have our own role to play as partners. Yes, partners in my mission. Can I trust you with the lives of my brothers? Know that I will not sacrifice your men unless the need is great. She is if we must, intolerable. My research beckons. Let's go have a chat to Lynetti. Commander, let us be efficient. At last, we can dispose of the Poxwalk corpse. Organic thing foul in my ship. Tech priests, ideally, would be fully, fully augmentic if they could. That's got like one of their th one of their things is to be close to the machine spirit, where they want to convert as much of their body into machine as possible. Affirmative. Risk factors remain significant. Hmm. The interaction is over. Let's talk to Ektar, see what he's got to say. Let us talk over what troubles you, brother. So, what do you make of Grandmaster Kai's reaction? Besides a clear violation of communication protocol, you mean? Commander, you must see that Inquisitor Fakir's evidence here is quite scant. The cryptic meanderings of an astropath and a handful of poxwalkers. The Cadium cult has spread death and destruction across 12 hive worlds and three sectors before we put it down. What are the seeds she discovered? Arcane talismans as catalysts for corruption are scarcely a novelty to us knights of Titan. I've got to say, I think I could listen to this guy talk forever. I could take it in and I was like, oh yeah, I do whatever you say, bro. Do you think this exercise is worthwhile? The Grand Master will weigh our value to this campaign. He says no, but we are far from being a in the best fighting shape at this moment, and it is our duty to support the Inquisition when needed. The Grand Master will weigh our value this campaign against others where we may have more obvious impact. If this venture is insignificant, why requisition our strike force? Perhaps there is some piece to this puzzle we do not yet see. The Inquisition is vast and dislocated bureaucracy. We may simply be one small piece being shuffled around the board for some other purpose. Yet it brokers nothing to speculate. The onus is on you to ensure that we do not return to Titan in shame. I suggest you focus on completing the mission at hand. By all means. The Dominus Lunetti seems off kilter. All tech priests are eccentric in their own way. Too much of their mortal flesh has been stripped away. You doubt her? There is no being I trust more to look after the baleful edict. Yet her further the uh, for the vessel uh, can at times eclipse our purpose. Occasionally, she needs a reminder. Her competence is beyond question. She has saved my life on more than one occasion. She was the key. Uh, she was key in piloting the edict through the astral looking glass of the euphoric Baron, shattering his demonic spirit into a million fragments. Her competence is beyond question. There are even storied rumours that she has fought alongside Lord Drago. The Supreme Grand Master. That would make her... Yes, assuredly. The Tech Priest and the Taptus Mechanicus are not prone to deceit, nor do they care one whiff for social standing among the unaugmented, as they call us. You know that we Astartes are dispensable. 
we will live, fight, die in this endless war against chaos. Our Dominus is, dare I say it, unique even among her kind, nigh irreplaceable. The Edict would not be half as capable without her. By all means, we are the Hammer. Remember that. Well. Yes, we're just going to advance time now. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> I moved away from this location. And I could have stayed there. What's going on here? Plus one requisition. That's, that's, that's what we get for that one. And it's unreachable. In the time left. Obviously this one will be as well. Oh no. It is reachable. Weird thing. Um, identified Bloom. 15 servitors. Um, complete the mission with only 3 knights as part of a glorious deed. So glorious deeds are where they're kind of like an additional objective. Where you get the opportunity to complete them. And if you do... Uh, no critical injuries. Uh, you get extra acquisition. I think we'll do this one. And the reactor is now complete, which means we can immediately start working on the warp drive. Because to me that makes the most sense. Because that way we can travel around quicker, do more missions. Especially if we aren't having any new knights come in. We don't need to upgrade the barracks yet. Yeah, the game is listed as being... <laughs> um, Frontier told me it is long. It is a long game. So there's a lot of stuff to happen. Uh, picking up the grimoires, as well as a mission reward, is actually really handy. Because these ink... I'd be like, we're getting two from this one. Um, they increase your research speed. Which is very handy. Uh, no critical injuries. We can definitely do that. I'm reasonably sure we can do that. There's no corruption. We've got Poxus and we've got unknown minions to deal with. Glorious deeds are optional objectives that add risk to a mission, but grant requisition rewards on success. You must choose whether to accept before beginning the mission. Thanks, Hector. So yeah, we're going to do it. So we're, we're gambling a requisition point um, in exchange for an additional requisition point. So <laughs> it almost doesn't seem worth it, but... We should be able to do it. Also, just just so you know what requisition is worth. Recruiting a knight is normally worth two requisition. So that gives an idea of what to expect. Um, guys, I will mention as well, anyone that, that donates bits or subs or um, anything like that today, uh, I am going to change one of my squad's names to yours. Because why not? And that way you can keep track of them. Which is why we already have a nuke in there. What do we know of this place? Archival data of these coordinates is indecipherable. However, the report from the Augurium is clear. The bloom seeds are below. Our That's a giant skeleton. Clear. Commander, your brethren must recover one of these seeds from a living host. I have trained your warriors to focus their senses. If they perform a precision strike in hand-to-hand -hand combat, they should be able to locate and extract any seed present within the foe. Let's move up. Be aggressive. Keep searching. 
Uh, oh, he's so happy. I'm looking at this, and you know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking a grenade would do it. That's four. We could probably get all five of them if we're a little bit closer. That is going to be like the grenade of that is the most beautiful grenade throw I think there could be. Badass. Grey Knights. Grey Knights. It's like, did he did he just take out six people in one go? Yeah. Yeah he did. And it was brilliant. Yeah. Can we? Oh, so close, so close. So close. Glorious grenades. Yeah, yeah, cryptography. I know. I did I did talk about sharing XP, didn't I? And then I changed my mind. But this one is Plater. So it happens, I guess. No, but it's not. It's not quite close enough, are we? Securing position. Well, we're just going to run up, because we can't get in range. I can't say I'm surprised you ran that way. Yeah, the, um, the Apothecary really needs an upgrade, so... He has not had any level up yet, so... Yes. He's very far ahead. Like out on his own. It doesn't feel good. Okay, there's bad guys. Bad guys ahead. Taking position. You know what, there's no harm in setting Overwatch over your own people. Ready to fire. Oh. <laughs> um Leila, thank you very much. Um If you're watching, which hopefully you are watching, um you just earned yourself a squad note a, a squad member name. Quite a few groups. So we've got three groups of bad guys. I am here to serve. Standing ready. Your orders. Throne of the Emperor. Keep searching. Now, 
How many people can we get? Three? I'm back to this. I mean, if you can kill three in one go, why not do it? How many action points? Hmm. Um, cryptography. The problem is with that with using that as a tactic is that you, well, it doesn't work. Number one, um, because they have a longer range than you do, so they can fire at a, a, a higher distance. Which obviously causes problems. Especially when you get rewarded for being aggressive. It, it's worth being aggressive. It's, an it's another kill for Nick. So that guy where he just killed him, he gained three action points back. Which is really good. In fact, I think that just ended the whole turn. Yes, sir. Taking position. Yeah, you're definitely you're rewarded for being aggressive and pushing forward. So we've got one of the seeds we need to get there, and then another one down there. Sets. And this is the only ability that we have that gives us a 100% critical strike. Because they said we need to use a critical strike to get the seeds. Seven. Seven. Hmm. There it is, Commander. Harvest the seed from that creature's flesh. Okay, so that's the guy we're after. Uh, we need to do a critical strike. And we will extract the seed. And then that'll be used for research. My commendations to that knight. Return with that seed as soon as you can. He is in a really bad place. Like he's in an except there's another seed hidden behind the statue actually. Just there. Your command? Hmm. Gliding through the I think I have very little choice here <coughs> other than to grenade the stairs. Who destroyed Commander? And we definitely wanted him further away. So let's go grab... Oh. Move out of the overwatch. So those little things there, that's where you can pick up... Oh, there's a bad guy down that corner. Um, yeah, you can pick up additional seeds from there, which is pretty handy. Moving out. At once. I would like if if we could pull off 
A teleport strike or two. They will not see me here. Eat this! Pain is beneath me. Warp Surge. Ah. I'm kind of jealous. At your service. Can I jazz of the abilities? For Titan. I think everyone's getting kills here. Because we don't really want to move through this area. Taking position. There's a live watch. Uh, At your service. We in range? No. Never in range on a blade teleport strike, are we? With alacrity. And the teleport strike, that guy is actually well within? Yeah, he is. But we can just strike him normally. Opening fire! No demon shall avoid its fate. As ordered. Yeah, this stuff is bad. Gliding through the wind. Can he see anyone? Is he in range? It's not in range. Right, I think I kind of really got really got us pinned in. Early levels still. Early levels, yeah. Strong we shall stand. And they typically have numbers on their side. Commander, your orders. Yeah! Teleport strike. <laughs> now, this type of mission that we're currently playing, we slay the darkness. bad things happen when you destroy all of the seed carriers. And I know this, because it's happened to me before. And it is, and when it happens, it's bad. Uh, can we teleport somewhere? You actually, yeah, we can. We want to take this guy out in particular because he's the most dangerous of the group. Um. Hmm. Surprised we could hit that guy? Um, no, I'm not going to let the pillar do it, Chris, because I need... Yeah. Yeah. I, am with you. I need the, uh, the seed, dude. Yes. 
I need to get away from this filth. Unfortunately, Terminators aren't as mobile. Oh, sorry, Nick. That's where it's got to go. Right. Is your will. What's your critical chance? Not good. Standing ready. Your command. So the only one that we can guarantee is going to get a critical hit is uh, me, Plater. You know full well they can, Chris. Now what I'm gonna end up doing, and I don't really want to do it, I am here to serve. is oh, he's got no choice but to go through it. We need to get to here because there's gonna be more enemies arrive. Santa at your service. Standing ready. Brothers. Oh well, he's weakened, but they're not. I don't really want to kill him. I, sir. So we'll, we'll we'll weaken him. Empty. I guess we'll reload. But I don't want to shoot him, so I'm going to intentionally your command have to leave. Yes, commander. What is your will? To end the turn until we can get the just car out. <laughs> Which is Plater Oleanthus. Sounds like a type of plant. I am here to serve. What is your will? And that way we'll definitely get that. Um, I think anyone who's been watching as well throughout the course of the stream should have scored their drops by now. I hope. If you're watching from the very beginning, anyway. 99% next, nearly. Alright, well, we are going to, I think, well and truly overwatch up. Yes. And, oh, can we, can we do it this way? No. Try and heal up a little bit. Got some drops! Sweet! Nice, Nick. Um, there's another one that will be starting tomorrow as well, so um, make sure you watch for tomorrow's stream. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube after the fact, then you need to be watching live on Twitch in order to score unique rewards in game.
And a warp surge. Straight through these guys. Wish I had some grenades left. Um, hello, thank you. Oh, dude, that means you're going to be uh, going to name you in the squad. How do you feel about Anthony? Weirdly enough, the apothecary is already called Han. So uh, I think we're going to change the apothecary to you. Got pretty. Oh, okay, I was like trying to work out where the. Um... It will be done. Where all of the enemy was. But we can't see them? Got a grenade left. Ah, so that works out. The enemy is wounded. We're gonna. Oh, he's just out of range. Just out of range. But this guy is in range. Oh, he shouldn't try to run past. Oh, we're also supposed to only be holding out for extraction. I don't have to actually kill everything. But I'm a bit like, what if I did, though? In an instant. Oh yeah, Nick, so the, the, the feel is spot on. Like, absolutely spot on. Moving out. This battle is ended. This battle is ended. Yeah, more experience. That's all the bad guys, isn't it? So everyone's a little bit wounded. So if we move them over towards the apothecary. And then the apothecary can just heal everyone. Because I think we're about to hit extraction anyway, so... Uh... Yeah! I'll end my turn. Uh, well entertained, hey. How you doing? Victory!
Nice. There's got to be some decent leveling up in here, surely. Uh, just waiting to give it your partner hustle. Uh, hopefully nothing too serious. At least I hope so. You can select as many rewards as you like. Unspent requisition can be used after future missions. Doom Lords. Grandmaster's report. And also the mantle of will. Well, we'll have both of those. Right, so just a car leveled up. Uh, we want to. I don't know whether or not we want to improve like the um, the kind of like more the tanky stuff or the damaging stuff. And I feel like the damaging stuff is always good. Actually, gaining willpower is really handy, so I am going to do that. Um, so down, uh, since she had a stroke, can't swallow, she had an ninja tube, but she hated it and kept pulling it out. And now she's, oh, blimey! I hope I hope things improve. Like, genuinely, uh, being fed by ninja tube is no fun. Um. What's this? What ability is this? Warp Speed Biomancy? Um, Chris, no. No, it doesn't. Um, you can change their appearance, though, and customise things as you would like. Um, right, we're going to lean into... Uh, I think having an Apothecary and Terminator armour that would be good. We'll improve the heal ability as well. We'll come. We'll, we'll come back round for the Terminator armor. I think. Um. Right, and these aren't ready for permission. You serve the Emperor well, Commander. We should study this seed at once. Every well, we're going to. Except we can't. Because aren't we busy researching something else? Yeah, okay. We're busy researching something else right now. So. We've got to wait eight days. Well, let's go and rename our apothecary. Now, I'm aware the 07 is for the Herno 7, but you've been Herno. Now we're going to go in and we're going to change some things. Like, fill about with your crest. Um, Herne, do you have a preference in, in, uh, in, in skin colour, which we can't currently see? But do you have a preference? Preference of hair and skin colour? We have much variety. Gonna give you a wicked scar though on on your head. Uh you're greying and Caucasian Bevan really. Okay.
Uh, Nix, thank you. Dude, you've just bought yourself a spot in the squad. <laughs> thank you for the bits, mate. Thank you. I'll actually give you some hair. You only get one option as a haircut. So, uh, you'll have to make do. And also, the it's not very distinct between the two, so... Oh, secret, secret stash. I feel like it's secret stash. Oh, no, no. Nyx won't. Tough, tough, tough luck for Nyx. Secret stash. So that's... um Interesting. I didn't realise there are people with beards. I've had it, had it covered up, so you can't tell. And then suddenly you can. Right, there you go. So, let's have a look at the chest options. Hang on, when you say Speedball 2, is that the one on the Amiga? Ooh, that's nice. Well, it says Titan is nice. Or Terror for Holy Terror. Yeah, why not? For Earth. See, I, I think I remember. I remember playing Speedball at a friend's house, and what felt like a million years ago. Oh yeah, that's nice. Gold, we like the gold. Okay. Han, there you go. Han, Hano Hane. That is your name now. Quite, that's good. Okay, so Storm We now have Nix Storm. Gonna obviously every, everyone's getting cybernetics whether they like it or not. That's kind of a It's a good Next you look like the kind of guy that would have a scroll on his chest. Um and also um We need to sort you out as well, Layla, so let's not forget. And, and we've got to have the extra gold, haven't we? She wait. I mean, that looks nice. What's that sound there? Pyre. Of course, because things burn, right? Pyre and fate. Storm. Storm. Praise the Emperor. Storm. Storm. The Emperor lights our path. Yes, Commander. Unleash me. There you go. Done. 
So, we've got another just car there. No Brummy accent, afraid not. So we'll do our... Because uh, we are naming people after... After those in... Um, Oh god, the name. It's just so good. Unfortunately, there are only male options in there. Um, but you can pick your skin colour. <laughs> um, if, if, I, if I know that you are Caucasian, I will typically pick. God, some of the colours are a bit... Interesting. And it's important that I'm not picking anyone that looks uh, like, that I would think looks like anyone. Uh, how about a mohawk? How are we feeling about the, uh, the mohawk? The warhawk? Nice. Oh yeah, hammer. Got the word hammer written on your chest. Oh, we're looking at the wrong one. Big Inquisition Eye. And this side we will have a different crest because we've already used that one. And then we'll change the pauldron. Yeah, yeah, be having that one. So there are 18 options. We've got fairly limited options of what I can offer. But I'll do my damnedest best. Yeah. I think that's the look. That's the look. Now, we do have to... We have some war gear. We earned some war gear. So we've got... I've given myself the, the Doom Lance. I only have eight... I only got eight uh, squad members, so I've used five with names. Uh, we also picked up some power armor as well, uh, which <laughs> ruins everything I've just done. Uh, apart from, I think, Nuke, we're changing your armor. So uh, it only changes your shoulder pad, which is good. Right. We're looking like a bunch of badasses now. Uh, right. So, the bad news is... We're not going to be able to reach... Any of the other missions. So we're going to head back towards the centre. And also, it turns out... Um, I do get drops on my own channel from watching it, so uh, that's top news. Right, we're now just going to. Oh, this is fun. Commander, I have disturbing news. The ranking engineer in the Manufactorum was caught accessing restricted Grey Knight archives. This is surely the work of our. This is heresy. Corruption scans return negative and interrogation has extracted no relevant data. 
Access transgression likely made an error. Nurgle servants are devious. He should be purged along with any of his close associates. Alternative. Demotion and access restriction. Manufacturing personnel is already limited. Um, okay. This is... This is a problem. So, we can demote the engineer. This will have a negative effect on Dominus Lunetti. She's going to be upset with that decision, for sure. Um, we could purge the engine seer, which means whatever we're working on currently will be stopped. Which we've almost finished. Well, we're a good, good chunk of the way through the warp drive. Do you want to cancel that? Convert them into a servitor, which again cancels it. Or we can interrogate them, in which the key will be uh, unavailable for some time. That will slow down the progression of the story. The other option is we demote the engineer, the engine seer, engine seer, and apparently nothing happens. Which doesn't sound right, so I think something will happen. And the longer I'm on the screen, the more frames I'm losing. So, we're going to, I think, yeah, it actually will upset Ektar Tone. Um, I've had this situation before. I am going to I will do, as you ask. do that. I'm going to do the uh, interrogation instead. Which seems fine. We'll advance time. Nyx, you are now fully healed. Nuke, you are also fully healed. And the warp drive construction is ticking along. Commander, I have completed a thorough psychic interrogation of the engine seer who accessed your forbidden archives. I can confirm that this data was accessed in error. Dominus Lunette has thoroughly wiped his memory. Lunette, it's not Lunette. I'm returning to my work now. Okay. This is that finally went. That worked. Like I felt like that went well. Uh, right. Let's move things along, shall we? I would like to improve our prognostic cars, but we would need more of them. What if we improved? Um, tone. It's good. Like it's good. I, I've I've had early access to it for kind of two weeks, and I've really enjoyed it. I've really, really enjoyed it. Uh, I've got a full review, full review, over on my YouTube channel. Um, links on Twitch page around. Um, which gives you kind of like more of insight of what you get into, and the way it all works. Uh, yeah. We will research the seed. Um, the problem is that, yeah, okay, I keep that. So stratagems are going to be the, essentially it's my version of a warp surge um, that we can use. So we will hopefully be able to make use of that. Uh, all right, Tane. Take care. Have a good one. Fingers crossed, everything's okay. Um. Right. We. What are the rewards? Let's have a look. Um. Kill eight enemies with with melee weapons. I can definitely do that. And that's destroy bloom spawns. Plus, I give minus one corruption, which would leave that planet um, no longer corrupted. This one, uh, plus one requisition, no corruption. You will not inflict critical hits. That's not good. And what's this one? Finish before you take 20 damage, just through this Hmm. Plus 
Plus you get Terminator armor and... Uh, the rewards are tempting. This one not so much. Let's do it. And, good news is, we now go faster. I think we're going to upgrade the ship. Hmm. What to upgrade? That's the question. Because the gun batteries and void shields haven't really come into play yet, but I know they're going to be useful. I know it's going to be handy at some point. And then we've got the Exterminatus in there as well, which pure planetary destruction is always appealing when you're playing as an Imperial player. Or we can increase the barracks. No, we're not. We want prognosticars. Decisions made. We're going to encounter something in space, I know we are, before we get there. No, we're good. We are good. Uh, finish the mission before you take 20 damage. Oh, two requisition points though. Two extra requisition is going to be worth it. Um, Arachnon, no. No, you can't. It is just playing as the Grey Knights. Um, when I mentioned the, um, the Imperial player, that's because I was, um, well, I used to play as Blood Angels. Um, when I played 40k. Uh, we're going to do it. Before we take 20 damage. Inquisitor Vakir has developed psychic techniques to support you on the battlefield. It's going to be rough. Interface to choose from your available strategy. Um, there are mid-warp events, Nuke, but they're disappointing. They're just a conversation that happens, so you'll encounter a space hulk as you're flying around, and bam, oh look, it's a space hulk. But then nothing will happen. It'll just be a conversation between your your kind of like your uh, triumvirate of of people, and something will either happen or it won't. And that's it. It's kind of like a oh look now they're angry at you. Great. Cool. 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 And that's what happens. It's a shame. This slot to load us for now, you have only one. So, stratagems. Target a knight gains two action points. Ooh. Can I have this twice? No. It's a shame. Off we go. I say, well, now I've got to customize the squad. I think they're looking pretty badass. That's exactly what I wanted, Nick. Exactly what I wanted. Um, Arachnon, um, do I know if Frontier Developments have any plans to make a Warm 40k RTS? No, I don't. Um, also, this was only published by Frontier Foundry, but it was developed by Complex Games. So it's, um, it's a third party publish. So this isn't even actually made by Frontier, technically. Transmissions are peculiarly well, coded. or at all. Deceptions and lies. The cathedral is infested. Most assuredly, our enemy is here. We must honor the Imperium's loyal servants and sanctify their remains once we put an end to their suffering. Right. Now, I know what to expect in this mission. And every time I've played it, it has gone really badly wrong. 
I have overstretched. I have been brutally savaged. And I'm going to try for that not to happen this time. People got critically wounded. Um, all of that. So we're going to hope that doesn't happen. And as the bloom goes up by 20%, there are ways um, there are ways to reduce the amount that goes up over time. Right, see, they're, oh god, they're right bloody there. Move up, Nyx. I think we're gonna overwatch this up big time. Moving out. Prepare a flank. Moving out. Didn't want that to happen. The way they just spread out as well God, is bad. Permission to engage, Commander. This will be illuminating, Commander. Hang on, you're gonna make me use a stratagem. What do you advise, Commander? I don't want to use it. <laughs> Actually. Alright, we can't shoot the dude behind the thing, but we can shoot the thing. Firing on target. Ah! At once, Commander. This is gonna be from close to combat distance. I don't sound very sure, do I? I mean, with stuff like this, this goop, can you blame me? Affirmative. I am the Emperor's fury. Glory to Zyphos. Die, die, die! Yeah, here comes all the potential damage. Yeah, I'm not feeling good about the. I'm not feeling good about the 20 damage thing right now. Yeah, because we've taken six already. Quite a, a low amount of damage. Wait. How can I not? Right, so that's a stunned enemy. This is this is a new thing we're seeing here. Uh, stunned enemies can be executed and we get bonus stuff for that. Yeah, 
No. No. Didn't want to see that. Didn't want any of that to happen. Oh, that was a bad thing to happen. Can we throw a grenade at that? Oh, yeah, we can. I wonder if they get blown into that hole. I reckon they would. Not quite. Run, run, run! All right, this guy only has one action point left. We've only got one action point left. So a boost shield instead. And this one also only has one action point left. But we're going to move up forward. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, well, they're all dead up the top. I promise you that. I'm gonna burn them all. Strong we shall stand. The health. The health. A scratch. I don't think I'm gonna complete this. Because I'm hearing more stuff spawn in. Okay. And that's a plague marine. Yeah. Target acquired. This is bad. This is all just turned really bad. Like all of it's just turned bad. Like we need to get rid of that guy quickly. Because it's really getting annoying. Alright, are we going to be able to take everything out once we get up there? Probably not. Hey, Weejet, how you doing? You're stuck at work, how oh, <laughs> That's unusual. Right, we're gonna zap him. We're gonna zap in. And then go, what, get immediately into cover? That isn't working out for me. Don't have enough will points for it. At your service. Right. Or can we run there and get the same, yeah. Ooh. Hey Sonic, how you doing? Crap. Mistakes have been made. What is your will? So I need to do some I need to do I need to turn this around somehow. Oh no. Be aggressive. As ordered. 
Um, what did they say, WeJet? What did they say? Full? Full account transfer? We slay the darkness! Uh, I'm doing alright. I'm doing alright, Slick. Um... Moving out. If this works, which it should. Okay, that's good. I must sanctify my rounds. <laughs> Tell me you're out of ammunition without telling me you're out of ammunition. Oh god. Yeah, they can for some reason they can shoot far further. Farther and further. I don't I don't understand. Oh no. This is good. That was good. Enemy down. I, that, that went much better than I was expecting it to, to be fair. Advance, and he's right going backwards. But he is healing himself. Eat this. this is looking bad. That's good, Reject. That's like really good. I'm sure people will complain about it still. Standing ready. Yes, Commander. Standing ready. Alright, let's go re. Really need to, we need to really need to do some healing. Um, Your command, my blade is yours. I think we're gonna have to do some strategic yes, swapping. I don't understand why anyone would be negative about getting the game for free on PC and then transfer. I, I'm going to assume it's it's um, salty PC players who have got no horse in the race. That would be my assumption. Right, I need to stop this from happening up here. This is like the key thing that needs to be done. Right, so we can either get bleed started or disable their weapon, or we can stun them. Stun is not going to make that much of a difference, but we can stop them from using their arm. My wrath is restored, brother. Reloaded. I think they needed to reload. I might be wrong. Probably wrong. Look at this guy. Walking around. All pus filled. Well, I'm not going to run across there now, am I?
Hey, Shiv, how you doing? Enemy reinforcements. Prepare to engage. We need this guy dead. That's what we need. Like, proper dead. Not a little bit dead. Like, proper dead. So, I mean, he can't use that out of all power. Withdraw your forces. Our initiates can tend to the leftover. That should be it. I think we can get out. I think we just leave. So it's like a surgical assassination strike type thing. As you can see, it's really my strong point. Surgical strikes. Um, unfortunately, we didn't manage the glorious deed. We took more than 20 damage. sucks. But we will have our war gear. And Nick, you've leveled up again. Um, no, no drop pods in this one, Nick. Right, we want to head towards... Teleport strike for New Cuba Santor. Um. Oh, so they're they're essentially the warp that represents the fact they've got the warp capabilities, Arachnon. So they can teleport. Um. It's, it's kind of what separates them from like it's their class. It's essentially what makes them look like their class. I guess that's what makes them deceptors. I would like increased range for that. It's a sh it's a real shame you can't give the uh, the interceptors Terminator armor because that would be ridiculous, like utterly ridiculous. That's a lot of wounds. That was a that was a lot of wounding. Uh, now let's see if we can, because we picked up some new bits, didn't we? Such as a new <sighs> Nathesium, which increases healing, which is good. Um, although we do need to research, I don't know. I don't know where we research these upgrades, but yet. We also picked up a new suit of Terminator armor. Which, 
we have a look. I'm obviously giving that to myself. Scholar's Diligence. So increases armor and willpower. And a me looks insanely cool compared to the basic stuff, like insanely cool. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna be making it to any of the other places, so back to the centre of the map, I guess. Actually, what I will say, um, Arachnon, is that the the things sticking out of their backpacks look weirdly like Gundam beam sabers. They're not, but that's what they look like. Alright, let's advance time. Because once we get the seed research, we should progress forward again. Just in time for some new activity, though. We were right there. Maybe I need to stop moving. That's a display error. Shouldn't say that. Uh, eight enemies with ranged weapons. No. But that's getting really infected up there. So. Uh, one mission without using grenades. No way. No way. Um, right. We're going to have to go for the most infected system. This, I didn't want this to happen. Unless this is just research. It is clear that these seeds are fragments of some vile artifact, saturated with corruption. Once fused with organic life, they spread rapidly from the host, afflicting whole populations with a deadly plague. All according to the plague god's desires. Yes. But what confounds me is how it spread so quickly between solar systems. I have issued an interdiction order for this sector. Interplanetary travel will be limited. With the Emperor's mercy, it will buy us some time. Denial. The Baleful Edict is far too damaged to begin a new campaign. I agree for the must. Tech Priest. This bloom is already ripening, evolving fast towards some dire purpose. Would you truly turn your back on the trillions of souls the Plague God threatens to devour? Never. But how do you propose we stop it? This seed radiates a psychic imprint from what I believe to be some kind of origin. <laughs> With further research, I will be able to pinpoint that location. I would rather we simply purge them. I'm, I'm with Ektar. The difference between us, Purifier. You are the hammer, but I am the one with the burden to wield it. Destroying it now would silence the only lead we have. If I can prove these seeds all radiate from the same destination, then we can follow that trail and destroy the source of the Bloom's power. Challenge. You said seeds. You deduce much from only one. You are correct, Tech Priest. I need more. One is not sufficient. I will mention that she has three service studs, Commander, which are those your knights to harvest more. You things there. Around the sector with more of this corruption in my home. Normally you have one per century of service. Dominus, but if the Inquisitor can locate the source of this corruption, then I advise we comply with her request. Affirmative. Excellent. We have no time to waste. So she is at least 300 years old. Technically. Says that we need more seeds when we do have some. Alright, upgrading prognosticars. I'm doing it. Doesn't require any anything so we'll do it you have my attention knight so how will you find the seeds to uh how will you use the seeds you to find the nexus commander psychic resonance that covers each seed leaves a spore i can follow the more we collect the stronger the trail to the nexus I do not what do you know think the nexus the is scent will lead us 
yet. What I can tell you is that some of this, that these seeds have been germinating for some time. They require a safe location where the warp has already taken hold in the materium. One that would not readily fall under our scrutiny. Somewhere they could be left undisturbed for centuries. Several hundred, undoubtedly. I'll put it plainly, the Lords of Chaos are powerful indeed, but we both know they cannot act in real space with total impunity. This plague has been in the works for a long, long time. If we must. Is this the first time you've worked with Grey Knights? To be honest, I had doubted your chapter's very existence until recently. Interesting thing, chipping in with this bit of lore, uh, is that Grey Knights are a secret chapter. Their chapter designation is, is the 666th chapter. And they were brought into existence during the Horus Heresy, so for over 10,000 years they've existed. And they were brought into existence on Titan. And then Titan was shifted into the warp. Where, the, where time passed quicker. And then when it was brought back into real space. You know, only decades had passed. But 300 years had passed in the warp. So they came back and they were ready to attack. You know, and they were all fully trained. From initially only eight marines that were picked from loyalist chapters. I contacted the Ordo directly for Marshal support. The response was a set of coordinates. I followed them and the edict appeared shortly after. Our return to Titan was unscheduled. How did you know where we the were? Ordo has the best prognosticators. Unrivaled prognosticators? Ah, oh, what? I've been saying prognosticars. Is that a different word? Oh, no. Very well. My research beckons. Protocol demands a preliminary salutation. Consider this requirement fulfilled. Okay. Preliminary analysis suggests their origin lies prior to the Great Heresy. Uh, that's the Death Watch you're thinking of, Nick. The Death Watch were recruited from other chapters, whilst Grey Knights were recruited from um, powerful psychers around the Imperium, at least they are now, um, and they are given a gene seed which is based upon the Emperor's DNA rather than a Primarch. The machine spirits can be corrupted by the warp like any soul. I made sure to do lots of research on this in preparation for this because if I didn't know, it would I, I'd be, it'd be awful, wouldn't it? Uh, the machine spirits can be corrupted by the warp like any soul. The heretic spread scrap code. Spirits that were once honourable now serve the dark powers in ruinous algorithms. I once had the opportunity to study a predator tank that served the Black Legion. Affirmative. Um, you care about the ship, yet it doesn't belong to the priesthood. The ship is irrelevant. My duty is to her. Its storied history eclipses that of anyone currently aboard. I was assigned to the edict centuries before you were conceived. Wow, she is old. And this was a ship that carried several grandmasters earlier in their service. Mm. Waiting for new input. I must attend to repairs. Chat to Ektar as well. Come, let us talk over what troubles you. The cost of working with the Inquisition, brother. She would, she would have us suppress our righteous wrath to gather her research fodder. The Inquisitor's methodology has proved fruitful. No, I prefer to purge Nurgle's servants on sight in the Holy Fire, but the Inquisitor's methodology has proved fruitful. Let her lead us to this nexus, and we shall fall upon it with the righteous fury of the Emperor himself. Certainly. Yes. 
Uh, have you fought the Plague Gods minions before? Murder is a powerful and detestably yes. creative enemy. Hmm. The Plague God does not simply desire death and destruction like corn. He plays with life, changes it, shifts it into a twisted and corrupted image of its own devising. And his foul work adapt relentlessly to survive. We must purify every last trace of this plague, or it will transform into something new and spread once again. Certainly. I hope that aids you, brother. Well, let us continue with our, uh, no, 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 no. multiple unanswered maintenance requests to the Dominus. A detestably inconvenient process, I might add. Analysis indicates Libra's terminals are operating at 2% above minimum operational thresholds. Preliminary assessment determined the malfunction originated from direct physical trauma. The Inquisitor was informed. You accused me of sabotaging my own equipment. <laughs> oh no. Ongoing correspondence has included escalating overtures on violence against my acolytes. Oh my! I will do far worse than that if this does not get resolved soon. Um, hmm. 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 I think we're going to turn around and say request denied. Oh, second part of your question, by the way, Nuke, is how they built up, is that they had um, 300 neophytes with them, as well as eight original um, powerful psychers from other chapters. So they were initially picked and then they were indoctrinated. So that's how they basically took their neophytes in with them and then trained them up whilst in the war. Um, I am probably going to say the Inquisitor's tough stuff. I think she's been... I think she's been misbehaving. That's what I think. I think she's like hit the monitor. I gave it a technician's tap or something. Uh, meditation chamber. That's a solid upgrade to go for because that will mean our knights will gain more experience per mission. Like, plus 50%, which is big! Yeah, we're gonna do it. It's quite a long upgrade, but I think it'll be worth it. Should have attuned prognosticars before starting the mission. Um, I Danger level medium. I don't feel super positive about the ranged weapon killing. Eight enemies with ranged weapons could do it. We could always take our time rather than like head first pummel in. Doesn't feel like my style, but we're going to do it. Now this would make a lot of sense at this point for me to switch over some people and maybe bring a purgator Equip him with a Psy Cannon. Let's do it. Let's do it. I 
I'm leaving Nyx and Nuke behind for this one. Which doesn't feel great. I don't know what the si the silencer does. Scatter shots. Do one damage per two ammo. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we're going to use that. I think we might use. We might use a side cannon. What about an incinerator? Normally cause four damage. It's gonna have a it's gonna have a short range. I think we're gonna keep it simple. I think keeping it simple is going to be the the advisable thing. Got a bad feeling about this, but we're doing it. And bear in mind, I've not saved. We're iron manning this. Which might be a mistake. I mean, I've got to kill eight enemies. That's the important thing. If I can kill eight enemies, the prognosticars foretell this cesspit will become a foothold for the Morbus if left unchecked. Every last bloom spawn will need to be hunted and destroyed to hold this foul rot at bay. Seek and destroy the bloom spawn. So there's one in there. I'm going to assume there's one at this far corner. No. Which means bottom corner. This is not... There's no good mission to bring newbies on. But I think maybe this was the wrong one. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was. I shall hold their charge. Got a bad feeling about this. It will be done. Which, uh, considering it's May the 4th, seems like the right thing to say. As ordered. Taking position. Yeah, oh god, the background on this is just... everything looks so grim. Hmm. Hmm. We'll use the Edge's Shield instead. That was a big bloom increase. Alright, I'm gonna run ahead. Foul intruders. They will not prevail. Brothers, strike for the chapter. Uh we have got next to nobody that we can see. What is your will? As you will. Let's bring these guys up forward. How can you tell me I can't see these people? Oh no, perfect. Okay, actually. 
This is, this is good. No match for the Emperor's chosen. Like, that's good. That is what I can describe as solid work. Can't see him. Uh standing ready. As you come on. I can't see him. We might have to do some slow and steady, and I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah. Right, let's move forward a bit. Still can't see him. Uh... But you know what we can do is blow him off the side of the map. Another one down. I am with you. Attack! Kill them all! Ah. That was the wrong place to put overwatch then. You notice these guys, because we're in a higher corruption area, they have more mutations. And look, Corosa. No, no, no. What do you. What do you. The enemy is wounded. I am his will. Didn't you see that? You have been judged. Possibly a waste of warp, precious warp power. Your orders. Okay, I like it. I, I like it. I think I might. I might have to change my mind about using these guys because my original plan was to go. No, no, no. I'm just going to use um. My usual loadout of melee. Like, no. I sense something near. That's a lot of damage in one go. Don't really want to run through the fire. Now, I know that whatever is going to be inside and through that door is going to be something nasty and something messy. Yes, 
Oh god, on both sides. Ah, right. Um, Terminators can't climb. Which is a bit crap. Minus one max HP for the remainder of the mission. That sucks. Yes, Commander. Right, through the door. That's bad news. I think we get these guys in. See them. Hmm. It's a guaranteed kill. I guess I'll take it. Nice. Have another. Another falls to the knights of Titan. Advancing. We need to leave some guard behind. Delta trained and ready. Yes. So the big tree is nasty. That's official. So taking out a giant tree is typically not great. They're tough. Target acquired. Foe destroyed, Commander. What is your will? Unleash me. What is your will? Should check the ammo. That sudden realization they've got to reload. Like, oh no. I think we know the problem. Sing. 
It's not feeling great. Now the the bog standard troops that I've brought with me are going to be a problem. Uh, but we have killed eight enemies at range, which means we can now switch over to uh, all of this slicey dicey. Okay. It's not good. <laughs> Them being close to that tree is bad. We're going to have to take some time to heal up after this. I mean, they really can. They really freaking can. What is your will? Healer, healer, need a healer. These wounds will heal. Gratitude. I wish I had a grenade with that guy. Your orders. For the Emperor. Ammo depleted. I have sunk so that's a worrying amount of having to reload every other turn. A psychic onslaught feels good, feels strong. Standing ready. Here's Commander. Your orders. Okay. Right, that'll stun that one, then we can run in. No, no. No, 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 no. Um, they're not awful, but I don't know if I'm pretty sure I unselected that. I think me not knowing how to use them is kind of the issue currently. Yeah, he was supposed to run in and do close combat, but didn't. Which is likely my doing. I kind of wish I'd only brought one with me, though. It's left. It's left us feeling very imbalanced. Your 
Your command. Yes, commander. Rugen. Yes, command. All right, get in here. It's time for you to start pulling your weight. fails me. Destroy! Empty. It's feeling a bit like this is not a good combination. Service. All right, heal this guy again. Because I think this is like one of these. Yeah, we're, we're about to run straight into someone's Overwatch fire. I think. I strike true. Ah, uh, yes. I've messed up by using too much willpower. Let's go, let's go do it. Did they die? Did they die? No. Well, that's good. But that's bad. And it heals itself, which is really bad. We're going to use someone else to get the killing blow. No, come on, mate. Don't do that. I want you to shoot it. <laughs> Target acquired. Enemy destroyed. What is your will? There are some distinct human error moments. It's so you've got this big old gun. Yeah, I'm just gonna run up and hit hit this tree with it. Are you gonna go hit a tree with a gun? Yeah, I'm gonna go hit a tree with a gun. What do you mean shoot it? No, I'm just gonna hit a tree with a gun. Running low on willpower. Gonna have to go a little bit slower now. As, you come out. As we run straight forward. Because health is gonna be an issue. I've wasted lots of shots. Too many.
Unleash me. Standing back. Hard. Yes, Commander. And there's no way to regenerate will without taking out enemies. So if I don't find any enemies. <laughs> Continue to work our way around the map. I kind of work towards the t the top and then round. I am here to serve. Yeah, you are. My blade is yours. Here it is. I think we got lots of yes. grenades left. Which is good. Ready to fire. We definitely need Advancing. more than just grenades to finish this off, though. Because nothing good is going to happen when we hit the other bloom swarm. It will be done. That's what we've been waiting for, these people. I am with you. We are discovered. There's loads of them. There's loads. There's loads. Um Well, at this point, I'm about to use a nuke, so <laughs> I definitely remember. It's, it is, I remember, because grenades is like my go-to. No demon shall avoid its fate. Hey, I'm always, a, I'm always a fan of As dropping well. grenades. Who is this? Oh, it's the apothecary. Hmm. Not who I thought it was, which is a shame for me. It's a shame for me. I will say... Oh, no. How are we not... How's that not a hit? How is that not a hit? Am I going to have to use grenades to... Position. Position. Right, that's definite line of sight. Is that line of sight? Ish. It's a waste of will. Maybe that was a bit closer. I think this caused more damage. Mm. Uh, yeah, Nick, you can. Only thing is, I don't want to. I've only got two grenades left. And I don't want to. Maybe I should have done it. Oh, so much for a free hit when they run up. It's a shame. Ah. 
Yes. Will points. Come on. Will command. Here. I think I have to do it, aren't I? Can I have to do it? As you come on. He didn't go off the edge. Pain is beneath me. Your orders? What is your burden? <laughs> he didn't go off the edge. Sanctified and purged. On the right. Um As you command. Yeah, he did lose his As overwatch. Commander. Unfortunately it was after using it. These wounds will heal. My wrath is restored, brother. Right, we've got kind of Advancing. I don't know why he's got do I want, like a debuff? Looks like he has. I think there's some explosive stuff nearby. Watch me plague. I know. That's fine. Wait. I have a stratagem. I can use stratagem. Um, teleporting in does. Ah, oh, no. I don't have the healing stratagem. I thought I did. So teleporting into someone's range will trigger overwatch. Um, out of it doesn't. Into it does. Um, which makes sense. Yeah, we're going to take this slow. I'm just going to assume that I will fire when ready. everything is going to arrive and it's going to be horrendous when it does. So, I am with you. let's be semi prepared. But this is exactly the thing that I was talking about where if you don't bring your like alternative units with you your on a regular basis, may have grenades as well. Oh, it's going to be rough. It's gonna be pretty rough. Don't come on. Moving now. Black dogs of the false emperor. Oh, it's play brains. It's like he just had to be plague marines, didn't it? And we're out of will. Uh, 
Uh, probably going to want to move the healer into cover. Advancing. And then set up overwatch on there. How are we looking on that? Okay, this guy does have willpower though. Advancing. But they're out of range. So. Do we advance slightly further forward? Feels worth it. Slightly too far away. But we can definitely take out one of the Plague Marines this turn. So that's fine. As long as the tree doesn't do anything weird. And whatever comes through here. Okay, it's not bad. This is actually right. This is okay. This is this is actually okay. Am I convincing anyone that this is okay? With me, my brothers. Before I make a decision of what to do next, let's see how much damage we can do to this guy. Target acquired. I must rearm. Weapon rearmed. I don't want to waste all of the willpower. Is he stunned? No, he's not stunned. Yes, Commander. I, I don't want to get taken out by a tree, you know? That would be the way. So, hey, yeah, 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 it's totally kicking, kicking chaos in the teeth, and then I got taken out by a tree. Don't be reinforcements, please. It is, though. Moving out. At once. Okay, uh, it's time to shoot the tree. What am I still not? Am I still not close enough? Still not close enough. Moving now. All right, psychic assault's not worth enough. Yes, 
Excess of ammunition depleted. If we could stop running out of ammo, that'd be great. And this guy can't get anywhere near close enough. So, do we hold the line back here? I guess so. I shall hold their charge. All corpses join the ranks. Okay, that's fine. Enemy sighted. Get down! What is your will? Your orders. Ah, oh, problem is not doing any health damage to the tree. Um. I guess it's going to be worth it. Yes, come on. Because as soon as we kill that, the mission is complete. Normal shot. I must rearm. So yeah, that's the problem with the heavy weapons. The uh, small clip size. Moving out. Uh, Death love. Hey, how, how you doing? Oh, welcome in. Mercy in death. Damn. So low on willpower. No gun for you. No gun for you. Um, well... I'm enjoying it so far, is what I can say. Um, I've It's very easy to compare it to, I would say, XCOM, but in a 40k setting. And honestly, that's good. That works. Like, it really, really works as a, a setting. And also, it looks incredible. Like, it looks awesome. The scenery is fantastic. Um, complex games have done a fantastic job. Uh, and to be fair, this isn't actually released until tomorrow. Target acquired. I'm, expe I'm expecting there to be a patch. At least one patch. I am his will. Blessed ammunition depleted. This is my first fielding of heavy weapons, and it's oh god, it's not going well. Oh yeah, the um, the environment is really, I would say, where it's at. <laughs> it's what they've done a fantastic job with. If you're a 40k fan and you know the miniatures and you know what they look like, then this is spot on. Like it looks right. It looks exactly how the... Oh, no. Alright, we're going to take it out this turn. That's it. We got it. We got it. Excellent work, Commander. Withdraw your forces. Our initiates can tend to the leftover film. Yeah, get us out of here. That was rough. As a mission goes, that was rough. Um... That was a technically that was a psi cannon. Purge the heretic. That's what I have to say. 
that felt like a now felt like a, like a heavy duty mission. Um. Uh, Titan's Ward. No, I'm not going to be using that. I'm going to take the Terminator armor. Just the armor. It's like everyone's promoted. Y'all get a promotion. Y'all get a promotion. Okay, all right, we're going to give ourselves some more abilities and more health. I think more health is good. Or more willpower, maybe more willpower. We'll do that. Um, well, storm boxes also have more than ten in the map, but a heavy bolt only has two. Well, I suppose technically it's firing what five or six shots at a go. So we're going to want to focus on having a look to see what we have available. The warp charge stuff, I'm not. It feels like a waste of an action. Oh, that's hundred percent crit. Ooh. Okay. Well, we'll have that. But what we want is more damage. And that ability, what does that one do? Upgrade armor pierce. Knight Cyborg gains armor pierce. Not bad. But would we rather have. Afflicted target suffer touch damage, psychic like blast. Blast an area. Range 10, effort vulnerable. I want to like raw. Oh, extra ammo? Which we can't get to yet because we have to go through something else to do it. And that's with a storm bolter, so we're not going down that route because it's got. The um, Psy Cannon. I think I don't think so, Nick. I think it's pretty limited to the types of weapons you get, because you know there are specialist demon hunters, and an assault cannon isn't good against a demon. Well, far enough bullets. What's that one there? Auto. I think I'm not a fan. I think we're gonna have to lean into this side. And this guy's already leaning towards Stormbolter already. So this is they seem to have like a, a like more of a support role. They seem to be like anti heavies like out cuz I'm looking at the oh this is improved psychic onslaught. So I think yeah, extra ammo. Lean to the extra ammo on that one. Pull the carry. We're going to want extra healing, even more healing. And more willpower, I think. Uh, all right, Nix, take care, dude. Have a good one. And maybe Terminator armor. 
Yeah. Yeah. I'll do that. So the only person to walk away from that fight unwounded was your apothecary, which works. Okay, I think this is as good a time as any to, to call time uh, for today's stream. Um, so thank you everyone who's been hanging out, everyone who's watching. If you haven't already and you want to, please follow. We'll be continuing the playthrough tomorrow where a new set of drops will be available um, for in-game, obviously. Um, so, yeah, should be cool. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm enjoying the game so far. Uh, also, if you're watching this after the fact over on YouTube, uh, please make sure that you like and subscribe. Um, and uh, hopefully I'll see you all very soon. Uh, I think what we'll do, we will try and find someone to raid. Because uh, we haven't raided someone for, feels like, forever. So let's see who we got. Anyone, anyone we know who's playing? That's the question. Uh, let's have a look. Um, or... Uh, could have raided someone ever raided before, in fact, I think is what we're going to do. So, um, once again, I'm going to say uh, thank you for watching, and I will hopefully see you all very soon. Uh, once again, thank you for watching. Commander Placer, out. <laughs>